Hi, Paul FD here with the Triangle O football system. I want to go over our mesh bunch pass series. There's an air raid rail run and shoot style concept. We'll first show it from our three by one spread with six man pro. Then we'll go three by one bunch with six man to five man pro using our NASCAR, Trey and Indy sets and finish up with a compressed or squeeze using our exchange tag. This mesh bunch is a great complement to what we call our base bunch. You can do two bunch core concepts, base going towards the three receiver side and now mesh going to the single receiver side. Let's take a look. So first here's three by one regular spread uh, mesh pass. You can see we've always got the A going on the under the H is going to do an over, but since he's on the same side from the 3 by one he does a pivot over at the toes of the mic. We've got the X running the run and shoot style, where he's going to go ahead and use his hash read. He'll get five steps, and then again, if it's man straight across, too high where the middle box is open, he'll just continue on that 45 degree angle. If it's one high and the middle box is closed, then he'll go vertical up the seam. The B here will do a check release on the Mike and the Sam to the rail route, getting wide to the numbers and then upfield. The Z then has free access where he's going to go ahead and run his glance route. Quarterback read progression with six man pro is we're going to read that Sam and the Mike for hot pressure, but looking for in the progression, the X first, run the hash read to the check down of the A on the under to the rail up the sideline. All right, our first bunch set is NASCAR three by one. You can see it's a tight bunch and then the X is split out solo to the weak side. You can see here we've got our same rule routes and six man pro with our back. Only adjustment is the Z receiver now that he's compressed will go ahead and do a burst glance, meaning the stem of his route is gonna go at a 45 degree angle to the outside to create some width and then get skinny. Quarterback's reprogression is exactly the same, reading the Sam and the Mike, looking one for the X on the hash read route, two check down for the A under with the back on the rail. Our next bunch set is a three by one tray. Now we have a wide bunch with the H becoming a true tight end, we call a Y now on the line of scrimmage, solo on the weak side. Again, we'll call this to the single receiver side, but now we like to do it with five man solo pro. The back then gets to free release. So we'll still read the Sam as our read key, but we'll just change our progression now to the back first, to the A on the under, to the hash read, to the over, to the glance. Our third bunch set is our three by one Indy. Again, it's a wide bunch, but we move the Z now to the point person in the middle, and we have the Y still solo to the right. Again, we'll use our five man pass pro. Rules for the routes, nothing changes. We just get great rub action with adjustment of the bunch receivers alignment. Again, quarterback with five man solo pro, Still going to read the Sam, same read key, but again, progression back first on the rail. If he's got him at all, just get it to him now. If not, then we're going to go ahead and look for the A on the under again as a check down, the X with the hash read to the Y on the over, and the Z with the glance. Again, when the Z is compressed in, he's going to use his burst stem of his glance route, taking a 45 degree angle to the outside before he gets skinny. Last, we can do a three by one trips squeeze, where now we use our exchange tag. Again, all we do is take our same signal, but use that twisting motion. We'll use our five man pro. What this tells now is the H and the X receivers are gonna exchange routes. The X now will run the over route to the toes of the mic, and the H now will run a 10 yard dig in. Again, quarterback, five-man pro, read key is always the Sam with mesh. We're going to look for the back on the rail first, the A on the under as a check down, and now we get the H running the dig in the middle 
to the over and the glance. You can see now it's a great complement to our other bunch concept, our base pass or spacing concept, which goes strong to the bunch. And now the mesh is going weak away from the bunch and a great man beater because we've got receivers running away from defenders. Thanks.